Hey guys, welcome back. Um, and today I am listing the top 10 saddest movie character deaths. And the rules for the list is that I had to have felt sad when they died. And I have to have seen the film. So if a certain death uh, aren't, aren't on the list, it's probably because I haven't seen the film or forgot about it. Also, major spoilers ahead. So take that as a warning. Oh, and um, they have to be humans. Humans. And they have to be human deaths. Um, and not... Uh, so no animal deaths here. All right, we good? Good. Let's get started. Number 10. Um, Ken Miles from Ford v. Ferrari. This death came out of nowhere and it really hit me hard. This character was so likable and was even a real guy, which made it sadder. And especially the music that played when he died. This was just a very sad death. Number 9. C from A Ghost Story. David Lowry's film about grief is truly depressing, and so is this death. And yeah, I know that, that this is a plot, the plot of the film, but it uh, doesn't mean it still isn't sad. And the aftermath of his death is more sad than his actual death, but that still counts, because, you know, he's a ghost half the movie. So, yeah, really depressing death. Number 8. Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, this death was so sad when I saw this film, and I didn't expect that from this film, which was super silly and I couldn't take it seriously uh, to a certain point in the film. And while I'm not the biggest fan of this film, this death scene was pretty impressive. Number 7. Um, Siok Wu from Train to Busan. This death caught me off guard. It's a zombie movie on a train, and I am saying that you will possibly cry on, the, on a movie with this premise... Uh, yeah, this character was understandable, and he was likable, and his death was super depressing. Uh, just watch the film if you haven't seen it, and that means you, if you haven't seen this movie, then you didn't listen when I said spoiler warning, but fine, whatever. Number six, the two kids from Train, from, no, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Uh, this film seriously hit me like a friggin' truck, especially the ending scene when the two main characters get trapped in a Nazi gas chamber was so freaking sad and depressing. I, oh boy, that, that scene ruined my day. Number five, Man, The Road. Uh, the main character of the film, The Road, which this film is filled to the brim with depressing scenes, but his death is probably the saddest scene in the film because he just kind of dies from, I, I think it was tuberculosis. Uh, but this death was very sad because his son didn't even get to say goodbye to him before he just died. So, oof, that's, that's pretty sad. Number four, Logan from, you know, Logan. Uh, this death was one of the first to make me cry in recent memory, maybe besides Titanic. Um, but uh, this death ruined me. My, uh, ruined me? My dad, who never really cries on movies that much. Um... Uh, my, and my mom. This was a tough one to watch, especially when we were all crying towards the end. Number three, Captain Miller from Saving Private Ryan. This is one of the saddest movie deaths and saddest movies ever, and one of the saddest scenes ever in a film. The way it's acted, directed, and the score by John Williams. Oh, is amazing. This whole scene is so perfect, and so is this movie. Uh, don't worry, I will do a review on this probably in like two days. Um, for, for D-Day. Um, so, um, yeah. Number two. Jack Dawson from Titanic. Uh, seeing the forehead himself drowning and freezing to death on a piece of driftwood is very sad. Even though I saw this death coming because of, from, like, a mile away because it was spoiled for me years before I saw the film. Uh, but it was still impactful and made me cry despite I knew everything that was gonna happen. Okay, now that we got the... Before we get the number one, here are some quick honorable mentions.
person you breathe. And number one is John Coffee from the Green Mile. As some might know, I blubbered on this scene because of how well it done it is. It is seriously, I, I seriously can't put into words how to, how to describe this scene and how I feel about it and how sad it is. I'm sure that I cried for like 10 minutes when the movie ended. And that is why John Coffee is the saddest death in a movie ever, for, for my opinion. And that's the and that's my list. Um, if you want to say your 10 in the comments, please say so. And if you like this list, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't or if you want to. And I will see you guys later. And uh, remember to say, stay safe out there.